Okay, so hello. Good morning. I know you've been waiting <laughs> to follow me. Okay. Because I see you watching. So let's go and let's get it popping. All right. So I just did a reading for myself. Um, so now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Let me stop because I just did mine and I told myself I pulled from the dreamers deck for the first time this time instead of pulling from the revelation deck. I'm gonna put these back up. So um, yeah, and I didn't like how it turned out because I feel like I did it backwards. So I'm going to continue the way that I was doing it and pull from the... Okay, well, these cards are meant to come out because they just keep popping out in my hand. It's the Lovers and Nine of Swords. So this is a collective reading for whoever needs to hear this. Let me... After I say that, I'm going to slide these back in there and see what happens. Shit just keep falling out. But I'm going to keep them. I'm gonna keep the lovers still here. Got two of pentacles. The hair Y'all, it's too much jumping right now. So I feel like, you know, because I didn't even get to shuffle the deck up how I wanted to yet. So y'all need to be patient and stop all of that popping and shit. Okay. I was never good at shuffling cards in that way. <laughs> never. Okay. Okay. So this is a collective reading for. Oh, I've never pulled the Queen of Wands off this deck before. Okay. deck you got strength you got the fool you got queen of wands we got king of cups we got four of cups we got two of cups i feel like this tower is supposed to be right there Okay, and these two cards as well, because they just don't listen to me. Okay, these are a lot of reverse cards. So this is a lot of energy, reverse energy going on right now. Okay. Okay. So out of the... Um, Revelation deck, we have Strength, the Fool, Queen of Wands, King of Cups, Four of Cups, and Two of Cups, and Page of Swords. And out of the Dreamers deck, we have the Devil, the Hangman, the Tower, the Knight of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Four of Cups, and Two of Cups. A lot of twos and fours, twos and fours. Yeah, all twos and fours, and the rest are court cards or whatever you may call them. Um, strength is first and revelations. So, how y'all doing this morning? Well, this afternoon, I don't know what time it is. I don't feel like looking, honestly. Um, okay, let me check the time. It's 11.49. Okay. First card I'm doing is strength, and strength is reversed. 
Okay, it says, courage has deserted her. She cries in despair and fears for herself. Life may be difficult to face with daily chores and routines wearing you down. You may try and find a hidden place to dwell on your sorrows, but eventually you will need to find your strength to live once again. As an individual, this card represents a person who has lost hope due to defeat. He or she is generally woeful and full of sorrow and self-pity. That's not a good place to be, my love. This person has lost touch with his or her inner strength and finds it difficult to push through the barriers and difficulties of life. This card advises summoning your inner strength to carry on despite any difficulties you are going through. Invasively, you will fear, I mean, your fear needs to be, needs to be overcome and your enemies and obstacles will require confrontation. Okay. So, um, usually when I do like my readings, they be telling me to leave these bitches alone. Don't even worry about these motherfuckers that spirit handling. But in this situation, I feel like you can't ignore you can't ignore what's going on. You can't, um, yeah, you can't ignore the things around you pretty much. Like, you have to figure out what's going on. And I feel like clearly you are, you know, you know the people that you're dealing with that may be making life hard for you. So you got to address them and speak truth to power, okay? And then the next card is the devil. And that is reversed as well. Okay, sorry. Look at the cards. Here's strength. Um, and here's the devil. Um, okay, it says, This card can indicate a close call with resisting temptation or eliminating certain pleasures from your life for fear of becoming addicted. Mm. Also, this can represent a recent release from a dangerous or destructive, or destructive situation. Okay, so it says something about resisting temptation and eliminating certain pleasures from your life so you won't become addicted. So maybe that's with drugs and alcohol or whatever you may have going on. Um, I'm going to keep reading for more clarification. The next card is the full in reverse as well. Yeah, that's um, it's a lot of uh, reverse cards, but all reverse cards don't mean bad things. Um, the fool is first. Uh, we always are a fool first. <laughs> okay. He is cautious before he leaps, for he worries about the risks involved. He ponders his movements and takes things slowly. This card embodies a nervous individual, well, the reverse of this card embodies a nervous individual who expresses caution with the steps that he or she takes. The environment around this person does not lend itself to the carefree spirit that is freely expressed in the upside of this card. Here, the innocence is lost and replaced with paranoia and fear. When this card represents an individual, that person would embody the characteristics of a cautious individual. This person often worries about the world around him or her, but desperately tries to fight within themselves. For the right to be free. In a relationship, this individual, uh, this individual may be difficult to pin down as commitments or comfortable routines threaten their freedom. Hmm. Don't take big risks right now. The stakes may be too high to be wasted on a whimsical urge. The next card we have for clarification is the hangman. And he is upright or upside down as well. Reversed. Okay, if reversed, this card suggests that you are being asked to make a sacrifice that is too big and potentially harmful to you. It also implies feeling confused as the world around you have been turned upside down. Thereby, uh, thereby making you immobile and unable to take any action. So I feel like... You have someone in your life who may have changed your energy um, and not in a positive way. Sorry, y'all. I need my wine, damn it. I want y'all to see boobies and everything. Uh, but yeah, um, I feel like this person may have gotten you into the drugs or may have put you in a position to where you feel like you need drugs to cope. We all been there. Definitely. 
I don't say we all, but I can relate to that. I have been there before. Um, Queen of Wands. But I don't really have an addictive personality, but that's different for everyone because um, sometimes some of us just don't know when to let go of the situation. So we will continue to use drugs to cope with that situation and feel like it's okay to be in it. And it's like, no, that's just only going to take you down even further. And when you're growing down instead of growing up, okay. Janelle Monet, what is that song called? Many Moons. I love her. Um, Queen of Swords is next. Revelations. And this is reversed as well. So someone has, well, you may have knowledge in all of these. I'm in the wrong book, y'all. You may have knowledge of self in all of these things. But at this time, you are too distracted to use it because maybe you're indulging in drugs and alcohol or whatever it may be. And you can't use your discernment properly. Mm. She is troubled by the conflicts of her mind. She experiences sorrow in the deepest form, the anguish that plays over her in her mindscape. Your failure to connect with your caring and emotional side has left you cold and hollow. You can be bitter and self-pitying. When provoked, you may lose your control and become vindictive, slanderous, and spiteful. In social settings, she creates unease around with her taunts, jibes, and comments about others. Mm -mm, can't do that. You got to speak positively. Okay. Mm. She projects her own shortcomings onto others, belittling them to make herself feel better. That's not good. This card warrants a disruption to projects and partnerships due to lack of coherence. Again, with maybe alcohol and drugs, you're incoherent. You're not in tune with what's going on around you. And communication. Past failures, poor efforts, and emotional strain will riddle the atmosphere. Here, egos will be damaged. Jealousy will breed. It's not good to have a jealous heart. And anguish suffered in aftermath. <clears throat> in my throat in anguish suffering the aftermath in relationships the queen of swords represents a mentally unstable partner with low self-esteem poor communication skills and a lack of balance between his or her thoughts or feelings feelings or thoughts so this could be about someone that you're dealing with but i think it's more about you i feel like you are in this queen of swords energy to where i mean queen of wands energy y'all I'm reading the wrong card. But maybe it was meant for somebody as well to hear that one. So I'm not going to start the video over. Okay. So that was Queen of Wands I was supposed to be in. But everything happens for a reason. Okay. She is devious and tantalizing. She indulges her own fantasies and takes advantage of others for her own ple uh, pleasure. So I'm, it's giving that you're in the Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands energy right now. Um, the reverse of this card embodies the negative qualities of a passionate being. Your love will turn into jealousy and your passion into rage and your sens sensuality into a lusty inferno. Lust is not good. Her caring nature will turn possessive and to a degree, she will develop some codependence. In relationships, you may find one partner being extremely controlling and vindic and vind uh, or vindictive. There may be hurt emotions from neglect and underappreciation. Situations may be clouded with broken promises and, lie and lies. Unreliability may cause projects and agreements to falter or fail. Well, these cards are definitely similar, but this one is speaking on you may have a partner that is just like you and they're creating well you have a partner that embodies these qualities and now you're starting to embody these same qualities as well um the tower is next it says 
The tower represents material ambition, ego-driven thinking. Get out that ego. Let that put your pride to the side. I said that on the other video. Put your pride to the side, baby. Push that shit over there. Okay? And move out of what? Love. Um, or a faulty belief system, relationships, or a way of life. So, you're not living right right now. The lightning is an event that causes spiritual insight, which leads to the destruction of false thoughts, beliefs, and practices. The card's simple image indicates a major change in your life or belief system. Be prepared for emotional upheaval and distressing events that this bolts from the blue. This event will create a spiritual epiphany that will allow you to eliminate all that is no longer useful or good to you or for you. Lies and half-truths will be revealed. It is a sort of a purification. Whatever is solid and good will remain and you will have a foundation that has survived trial by fire and you can rebuild with confidence once the dust has settled. I'm so in love with this because I can relate to this so much because like I've just, in the past few months, I have went through mine and came out. But yeah, like, so this is somebody who, you're the queen of wands, so you know, you know your power. And I did say the Queen of Swords as well, so you know your intelligence, but you're not using either one of those for good right now. Um, but this Tower card is saying that something is gonna come in and shake that shit up, okay? You're gonna have a lot of bad shit happen in your life because you may have been a bad person doing a lot of bad things. So those things might, not a bad person, but you may have been led to destruct self-destructive and destructive ways of the, for your environment and for your life. So, you know, something is going to come in, you know, destruct you for 1711. Something is going to come and destruct you for a little while and disturb your peace that you feel like you have because these cards are already telling me you're not living in peace. So something is going to come in fuck up this fairy tale that you felt like you were in. Maybe you felt like you were in control of your situation and in your life. And ha, 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 bless your soul. If everything, you're in control. Because we're not. We're not. So something's going to come and knock you off that pedestal that you think you've been on. Feeling like you can play with the world. And you're not going to have that control anymore. And until no, I'm not going to say until because we are not ever in control but you're not going to have that control at all and you're going to understand and realize that you are not in control and you're going to have to make some choices to become a better person for the betterment of your life okay yes ma'am next card is king of cups and this fellow is upright um Um, okay he's a highly intuitive man well this card represents a highly intuitive man who brims with creative juices and captures imagination they are charming enticing and evocative their gut feelings often land them in the right place at the right time and relies heavily on his mind's eye to plan ahead as a lover he is highly sexual and will leave your heart aching for more he will touch your soul through his sensitivity and create an air of mystery through his unconventional and unpredictable nature. Okay, this card appeals to unconventional approaches when dealing with people in tests. Creative solutions in imaginative ways may resolve issues faster than expected or produce unexpected results. When making decisions, this card urges to go with your gut feeling or listen to your inner voice for guidance. Um, in relationships, sexual pleasure will be reached through engaging the heart. Romance, gestures, and love, and evocative love making will heighten the bond between partners. So the other card spoke on, I think it was the card I misread, <laughs> or was it the devil card? One of those. So that card, 1939, when I said that, so that card speaks on basically like turning around. Like you can, if you work from the heart and move from the heart, then you can get all the things that you desire 
But if you're living in this reverse plane of swords and reverse plane of wands and this reverse uh, strength energy, feeling like you just are depleted, like you have nothing left, like then, yeah, you're just going to stay stagnant in that area. But you have to always realize like the abundance and the love and the life that's around you. Appreciate the small things. Okay. Um, the card for clarification for that is Knight of Swords. This is the Knight of Swords. This guy is in reverse. If reversed, this knight can be a braggart or even a liar. He will tell stories to bolster his own self-esteem and to gain the respect of others. He lacks compassion and takes pleasure in verbally embarrassing people. Mm. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this King of Cups is the energy that, like this could be a guy or a woman that this reading is for. But I feel like this King of Cups is more so saying, or both, you get me? It's a collective, like they say, collective reading. So... <laughs> I feel like this King of Cups is pretty much like saying if you open up your heart and love and look at things from a abundance and love perspective instead of just looking at where you are and what you are currently going through from whatever, you know, you may have done or whatever you may have been through or whatever, then you will be in a better position. But if you keep moving out of this knight of swords energy saying something about being a liar bragging and tell stories you lie basically to he or she this could be a you know i don't feel like this is the spouse i feel like this is you um when you're lying and you're trying to boost your self-esteem like i said let go of that ego then just to make people look at you in a positive way i feel like that's what it's a lot of that is going on it's like you're you lie to make people look at you more positively. But 22, 24, when I said that. Um, but yeah, that's no good. That's not going to benefit you or anyone around you. And you should be honest. You know, truth, speak truth to power, okay? Be honest about yourself and about your situation. So, you know, you can grow from that. The next card is Four of Cups. I'm just trying to make sure my boobs not popping out on y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. Hmm. Complacency overrides emotional growth. Even when approached by something of remote interest, you may find yourself unwilling to apply yourself. This card advises you to break out of your rut and perhaps go on a short trip or vacation for a change of scenery. Scenery. The environment around you feels lifeless and still. Energy behind projects seem to lack drive and motivation. Okay, relationships feel routine and inconsequential. So yeah, like you and your partner may both kind of be in that queen of swords and uh, queen of wands energy and it's not benefiting you in no type of way. Yeah, it's really, it's making you depressed, pretty much. That's what I'm getting out of, out of this. It's making you depressed. It's bringing you down. Um, then we're going to Wheel of Fortune. Oh, and yeah, like, I mean, I know plenty of people like that. Like, I had a friend who was, like, very much so like that. Like, it's like, no matter what... It's like no matter what, um, pretty much like came her way 24 um, positive or not, like it was like she just couldn't even fathom doing anything more than just doing what she does. And it's like you can't live your life that way, you can't live your life one way and just be like, oh, well. I'm going to just, you know, continue to do this forever and eventually it's going to work. Like, no, you got to move around, okay? Like, you got to explore your options and use your discernment 
you have to try. Like some people just don't like to try because they're feeling so down in their brain and their mind that they don't even want to try to do anything but what they have been doing their whole lives. Okay. The next card is the Wheel of Fortune. And that is reversed as well. Okay. I want the wrong book. Y'all leave me alone. Okay. Okay, this card can suggest a temporary setback or even a complete reversal of fortunes in a direction that you didn't desire. It can also warn against the uselessness of flailing in the face of circumstances you cannot change. I don't know what flailing means. And if I had my other phone right here, I would have Googled it. But you can Google it and you will know if you relate to it or connect to it, okay? Um... Yeah. Okay, so like I said, pretty much, you're living in that negative energy, that negative life, and it's like, that can basically, every good thing that, 26, 29, every good thing that God may have been trying to bring into your life could dissipate because you're not, you're not focused on your own growth. And you have to focus on your own growth over anything. Okay. Um, the next card is Two of Cups. This one is upright. Okay, this card can also herald the arrival of a new partner in your life, engaging you in a loving and romantic relationship. Um, this card indicates fantastic partnership between two people, positive and productive mergers will blossom under this card. Relationships with loved ones and friends will also experience a deeper connection in this period of time. Yeah, because if you're living in that Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands energy, then you can't be too close to your family and your friends. 27, 37 when I said that. But you can't be too close to your family and friends because nobody want to be around no dark ass negative energy, okay? Um, but yeah, so I feel like this is pretty much saying like, you know, if you flip yourself upright and become that queen of wands that is inside of you, the good queen of wands and that good queen of swords who uses her discernment and that other queen of wands who uses her, her, what can I, what word was I looking for? I forgot, but if you become that good queen of wands that uses like, yeah, her, her, um, what is it called? Damn it, y'all. The, uh, manifestation skills in a positive way to manifest for yourself. Okay. Like not to speak down upon anyone else or to wish bad upon anyone else because that shit comes back to you when you do that. Okay. So yeah, but this also speaks on you know, getting into that good energy. And a lot of us, we all love love, okay? So instead of having this partner who has the same energy as you, 2853, you will find a partner that is loving, a partner that can bring harmony into your life. And you guys will be able to understand each other and maybe work through your issues together. Or they will help you, you know, work through your issues. So, Four of Cups is next. But yeah, good things come to those who work, okay? Good things come to those who wait and work on it goddamn selves. That's where good things come. Um, Four of Cups. God damn it. Oh, here it go. Gosh darn it. Sorry. Um, right here. My girl just sitting lonely by herself, ignoring everything because she's just so focused in her goddamn mind that she can't think about nothing else. Yeah, like I pretty much said, if reverse, this card can mean a deeper depression. I spoke on depression previously. 
or engaging in unhealthy activities to relieve boredom. So yeah, that, that lust, you know, is no good. Um, over drinking, not good. Um, whatever other drugs you may indulge in that too much, you know, 30, 22 is not good. Like future say, I take my drug in doses, baby, okay. I've been sipping on this damn wine for probably about an hour or two. And I still got the other three bottles in the pack. Cleansing my soul of addictions for now, cause I'm falling apart. That's the vibe that you need to be on, okay? Realize and understand where you went and realize and understand that you may be slightly falling the fuck apart. And you need to cleanse your soul of all of this external stuff. Um, Page of Swords. So, yeah. And this one is upright. Says, <clears throat> the Page of Swords presents the awakening of one's mind to the endless possibilities and ideas that surround us. This for you trying to get to. Um, here I'm gonna put it up closer and you on place with it. That's where you're trying to get to, okay? Um, the awakening of one's mind to the endless possibilities and ideas that surround us. Here, new thoughts and ideas will spring to mind and breeze through your life like a refreshing gust of air. You may feel a youthful energy flowing within you, urging for you to participate and join in activities that stimulate the mind as well as the psych. Um, this card embodies an individual with a stern but curious outlook on life. This person is forever examining, dissecting, and psychoanalyzing others. Bright, refreshing, and intelligent will be the attributes common to this person. Yeah, especially if you have that Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords energy, I know that within you, you are a bright and intelligent person, but you gotta let it out. In situations, you will find yourself entering and exploring new and uncharted regions of the mind. New ideas and new concepts will be, will be put into play, exposing you to endless possibilities. Around you will be games to play, wittiness and humor to tickle your funny bone. Okay, and that card is also clarified by the Two of Cups. So yeah, it's giving that love will bring this out of you. But you gotta love yourself first before you can find somebody that's gonna love you the way you need to be loved, okay? Um, you gotta fix that Queen of Swords energy and fix that Queen of Wands energy, the reverse 3305. You gotta fix those reverse energies for you to be able to receive this Page of Swords and Two of Cups energy. That's why this was the last card. This card promises a strong and passionate relationship. Maybe with this uh, King of Wands here. And I'm feeling like this King of Wands, I mean King of Cups, sorry. I'm feeling like this King of Cups is already in your life. And maybe you just don't look at him as a viable option. Um, sorry. Maybe you just don't look at him as a viable option because you're addicted to drama and trauma. And it's like, <laughs> you gotta let that addiction. 3353, you gotta let that shit go as well, okay? Um, yeah. Such a relationship brings beauty and power to life. While this can be a romantic relationship, it can also mean any such union of people, groups, ideas, or talent. The key here is the coming is one plus one. It was 3411 when I said that too. One plus one equals two. Coming together two things that creates a third thing that is in itself powerful, beautiful, and passionate. So yeah, um, it's giving come together with somebody and well, it's giving. Once you finish these steps uh, that you need to take towards bettering yourself and transforming yourself, you know, the devil, the strength, stop being a fucking fool, you know, be a loving fool. Don't be a, a fool to where you want to ruin everything. The hangman in reverse, you know, all of that good shit. 
Stop being a queen of swords or queen and queen of wands. Stop being vindictive. You see, she's just biting her finger, looking at what the fuck she can get her, what type of drama and chaos she can get herself 3505. What type of drama and chaos she can cause next. Not even get herself into 3511 because it's giving the energy that you expect great things to happen to you while you wish bad upon others. And that'll never happen that way. You reap what you sow. So I need you to start sowing some dandelions and sunflower seeds, okay? So you can reap those. But yeah. Have a blessed day. Peace. Thank you for listening.